Welcome to our channel Movie Relog. Today we are discussing about the movie Tag. Hogan, Bob Callahan, Randy, Kevin Sable, and Jerry Pierce have been playing Tag since they were nine years of age, beginning in 1983, during the period of May. From that point forward, the gathering's primary rule of the game is that the last one labeled is it, until next season. With Hoji having been the last one labeled in the earlier year, he first selects Sway, the president of an insurance agency, and afterward Bean, Stu, and Kevin for one final endeavor to label Jerry, who has apparently never been labeled on account of serious areas of strength for him and knowledge. Hoji lets them know that Jerry intends to resign after the current years down a result of his forthcoming marriage. Rebecca Crosby, a Money Road diary journalist doing a piece on Sway, goes along with them and chooses to compose an article on the companions who have been playing tag for 30 years. They are additionally joined by Hoji's active spouse Anna. When they show up at their old neighborhood of Spokane, Washington, they find Jerry and bait him to the nearby Nation Club. However, they are overpowered by Jerry's expertise. Jerry then presents his life partner Susan. As the others express dissatisfaction over not being welcome to the wedding regardless of their cozy relationship, Jerry realized he would very likely be labeled or possibly designated during the functions. They consent to not play the game at any wedding-related occasions in return for solicitations to the wedding. Notwithstanding this, the gathering makes a few endeavors to label Jerry both previously and just in the wake of wedding-related occasions. The gathering slips into his home around evening time, yet are driven out when Jerry sets up a persuading stratagem that he is in Hoji's room at that definite second guessing that the pack would break into his home to label him Jerry was in his own storm cellar, where he had set up a copy of Hoji's room and had skyped the gathering from that point. The following morning, Hoji masks himself as an old lady and ambushes Jerry at the shopping center yet is crushed and embarrassed. Then, at a practice supper at the Nation Club, Jerry welcomes Cheryl Deacon's, Weave and Stu's secondary school crush, to divert the gathering, and the endeavor to label Jerry leaves Hoji, Stu, and Kevin all trapped in excruciating snares set by Jerry. During the practice supper, Susan uncovers to the folks that she is pregnant. Crushed, the gathering attempt to construct another arrangement. Subsequent to figuring out Jerry goes to Ah Gatherings, the gathering choose to strike his next gathering, which is on his big day. In planning, they secure each exit and dress as individuals from Ah. They take their action and nearly label Jerry. However, when he regards himself as caught, Jerry retreats to the fellowship wine capacity. He remains there for quite a long time as the folks blockade the room, until Susan drops by, with the wedding only a couple of hours away. Susan castigates Jerry for gambling with their wedding for an immature game, however unexpectedly seems to fall faint and have an unnatural birth cycle. Jerry emerges to help. Stu is persuaded that it is a ploy, however the circumstance appears to be genuine, and Jerry himself likewise lets them know he isn't messing about and the two leave. The folks get texts that the wedding is delayed because of the expected unsuccessful labor. In any case, a dubious Anna sees that the bridesmaids generally made comparative Instagram posts. With one of the bridesmaids having eyes only for bounce, and having a confidential profile, Anna makes a phony profile for Weave to trap the bridesmaid for reality. When they gain admittance, they see a post from the bridesmaid of Susan in her dress, showing that the wedding is still on time. Enraged by the stunt, the posse choose to crash the wedding. Upon their appearance, Susan affirms the fabrication, including the pregnancy. Furious at Jerry for lying, Hoji chooses to label Jerry toward the finish of the service after he and Susan kiss. Hoji charges at Jerry, however barely misses and winds up handling the minister to the ground. Hoji then blacks out, which Jerry believes is a ploy, however Anna affirms that Hoji's condition is significant and requires an emergency vehicle. Everybody gets together at the clinic where Hoji comes clean with them. He had lied about Jerry stopping after the season since he needed to rejoin with his companions after he as of late found a growth on his liver and has progressed liver disease. He may not be alive for the next year. Jerry decides to bite the bullet and permits Hoji to label him. The gathering begins the game once more, going around the emergency clinic as they did as youngsters, and change their principles so Anna and Rebecca can play also. Before the credits roll, a photo is shown, showing the genuine gathering of ten men that motivated the film, who keep on playing right up to the present day.